Okay. So in this question, a circuit is formed by connecting a resistor between the terminals of the battery of EMF 6 volt. The battery has internal resistance. Which statement is correct when one coulomb of charge flows around the complete circuit? So first of all, we will let us uh, draw the circuit. So this is the battery and this is the internal resistor. Now it is connected across an external resistor R and these values are not given to us. Only one value that is given to us is 6 volt. We don't know the internal resistance. We don't know the external resistance, but we know that the current here is flowing, but the current is not given. The charge is given one coulomb. So only one coulomb of the charge flows in the circuit. Now this is a problem because in this chapter we have studied all the formulas based on current. So now what to do? So we know that I is given by dQ by dt. If, if you're not using D as a symbol, we can write it as delta Q by delta T. This we have studied. It is the rate of flow of charge. So delta Q will be taken as I into delta T. And there is a formula for the power uh, dissipated in the battery. If we see, so V into I. Fine. And... Uh, if we want to find the total energy that was used, we need to multiply it with the time for which uh, the charge has flow, the current has flow. So it is VIT. So now we can use this formula. Let us go for the options now. 6 volt is the potential difference across the resistor. Absolutely wrong because 6 volt is the total EMF which will be shared as the potential difference between two different resistors. So the potential difference across the external resistance will definitely be lesser than 6. So option A is wrong. Option B, 6 joule of thermal energy is dissipated in the battery. 6 joule of chemical energy is transformed in the battery. See, B and C are very similar to each other. But in B, he's talking about the thermal energy. And there is, we are never using thermal energy in a battery, first of all. It's gone. In battery, the chemical energy gets transformed into the electrical energy, the chemical battery, because it's a dry cell. So there is a chemical reaction going on there. So it's a chemical energy which is being converted into electrical energy. So this might be right. And what is the D option? 6 joule of thermal energy. Again, D option is wrong. So by the exclusion principle, we get that the answer should be C. But are we getting this answer and how to get this answer? So by following this explanation, we have power is equal to VI and energy given by the battery should be given by the formula E is equal to VIT. So which is uh, also equal to I square RT, by the way, I'm just writing it so that you don't get confused. Okay, so we are using now VIT. So what is the voltage six? And what is this I into T? So I into T is equal to the total charge that has flown and it is given to be 1 coulomb. So we can substitute 1 here. It will be 6 into 1. So the answer should come out to be 6 joule. And yes, absolutely correct. Our answer is coming out to be 6 joule of chemical energy is being transformed in the battery. According to the mark scheme also, the answer is C. So we are absolutely right. And this is, I will say, a very beautiful question. By just having a very simple concept that is delta Q is equal to I delta D, they have actually increased the level of a simple question. So this is the beauty of IB, I will say. So all the best. Bye.